Have you ever met a woman and you ask yourself, I wonder if she's dating another man. I wonder if I am the only man here. I'm going to give you the signs that a woman is casually dating other men. Are you ready with this? <laughs> Be patient and allow me to dive in now. Before having any relationship with any lady, one week ago, one month ago, or you are approaching her in the moment, you must understand one thing. The mode of a relationship and the mode of sleeping around with other men. Those are the modes that only exist for women. She's casually seeing other men or she is locked up in a relationship. No woman is totally single. I don't care what you want to believe. I don't care how you convince yourself, but these are facts. Casually dating other men is the only option she has to learn which among the men can fulfill my hypergamy. Be aware of that first. Are you done with that? The signs now. Never label any woman as the good lady. The church woman, she's different. I have to always call her. Today, I can wake up and decide to do the right thing. Tomorrow, I can wake up and decide to do the wrong thing. There are no good women. There are no bad women. There are only women. There are no good men. There are no bad men. There are only men. You have to tell yourself that. Me being raised in the right way doesn't qualify me being good. I can decide to wake up today and do the wrong thing. She's the church lady. She can't have a sexual relationship with another man if she has me. No. Remember, I have a lot of options. I am trying to gauge who makes the first move. This is about the masculine frame. Okay, take it this way. If you're a guy and you are being approached by a hundred women, will you respond to those a hundred women? No. There are only some few women that you respond to. So this is her. She's only trying to pick a man who has the courage, the confidence to make a move on her. Why? You pursuing her confirms that you are in a masculine frame. You have the confidence and you don't care. But you pursue her and you also show her that it doesn't matter to you if she says no. Two different things. There are those who will pursue the woman and then they will try to jump over hoops and ladders just to qualify themselves to the lady. Her work is to pick a man who can directly and verbally communicate to her but who can also show her that I can survive without a woman. She can't reply to you today. That is why you will suggest to have a date with a woman today. You will want to meet and then she will reply after eight days, five days. Why? You are not among the options that she wanted to reply to. And she wants to gauge where you stand if you value yourself. The more you try to qualify yourself to her, you are lowering how much she will be interested in you. But the more you show her that this is what you want, and then you pull back, but I am not that desperate, then she has to qualify herself to you. That is what a woman needs. And I'm talking about never, never. If she's never initiating any contact at all, be rest assured that this woman is either seeing other men casually and she's trying to weigh which among the men can win the game or she is locked up in a serious relationship but she's also just trying to entertain you. That is why I first told you that whenever you make a move on a lady, any woman you see on the road, it doesn't matter how she looks, tell yourself that it's either she's sleeping around, casually dating other men, or she's locked up in a relationship. Telling yourself that will lower your expectations. And lowering your expectations from her is what you need at the moment. And showing her that you are not that much interested in her because you lower your expectations will now make this lady see you as the attractive option. If you show me that you are desperate, you need me more. You are doing it for yourself. Show me that you're not that much interested in me, then I must just as well come for you because you can benefit me and I can do it for me. Okay, let me give you a good example. You're working on a certain company, they're paying you $10,000 per month. You get another offer from a different company, they're paying you $30,000 per month. It doesn't matter how much you love this company, how faithful you are to this company. If there is a better offer, you'd rather just get rid of this job and go to the next company. People do what benefits them. 
she realizes that maybe you are of a different day that she has been looking for. No contact at all? How is that work going? How is that project going? How was your day? If you don't get those texts, my friend, convince your mind that people do things only for themselves. You can't benefit. Men can be better, but sometimes we are consumed by women. We are always on our phone. When will she reply? When will she call? God damn it, why can't she just speak like her? The more you think about her, the more you will be interested in her. The more you have that energy, the more she can sit in you. The more she can sit in you, the less she is interested in you. I don't think if that is what you want. No, this is the fact. Women can sleep with any man that they want because they have Tinder, they have Instagram, they have WhatsApp, they have Facebook, they have TikTok, they have Snapchat. If you convince yourself that pushing hard to a woman is being toxic to yourself, that will change everything and you will do things for you. Hands up. You can now understand where I am coming from. We expect more from women and when they don't give us what we want, we feel agitated. We feel disappointed. When you finally get to talk to her, she can read that in you. And if she can see that you are disappointed, that she never replied to your text, she can now get rid of you. She has remained with the four men that are never that much interested in her. Oh, she can do that. She's the right lady. She was raised well. She's a church woman, my friend. Those are the dangerous ones. I never made the rules. This is how the world is operating at the moment. There is only one thing that you need to do for yourself. The moment that lady gives you a chance, enjoy the moment and never expect more from her. If she accepts your date, then maybe the next meetup or the next date will be after 13 or 15 days. If I have more options, I can deal with you every now and then. This only confirms that the moment you try to have fun with a woman, don't worry too much of the future with her. In fact, she might give you sex. She might sleep with you at the moment. But you can hear from her after 14 days. It's not a relationship yet. After she has given me sex, she's not even in a relationship yet. Yes. And it's her work to signal you that this is not a relationship by not being available. Being available only allows a man to get attached. And when he gets attached to me, I will be obligated to him. A commitment that I don't want at the moment. So you are among the guys she is having casual sex with. Uh? Her trying to stay away from you so that you can't get attached to her. The time apart is what will allow her to emotionally invest in you and will eventually have feelings for you. The more she stays away from you, she doesn't know subconsciously that she is investing in you. She can't just help her feminine intuition. Now she gets to pick among the 10 men that she has been sleeping with, which among these men, do I have that feeling of love, feeling of affection more? Now she looks around and she realizes that Isaac, at the moment, she never wanted a serious relationship. She was only having it casual. Let me get rid of uh, these other three men first so that I can remain with the four men. But let me at least put Isaac on her high radar. Yes, you have a relationship, but she can't get rid of these two men. She is in another city. You are in another city. You ain't the only guy she's dating. It doesn't matter if it's serious. No, 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 no. Don't even convince yourself. She might find you attractive. You might arouse her sexually. She might even end up sleeping with you. But that has nothing to do with having a relationship with you. She finds me attractive, but she doesn't want to have a relationship with me. Yes. Liking you is the only way of her having a relationship with you. Those are the two major signs that you have to fully know that women are casually dating other men. Now, I will conclude this by saying a woman trying to stay away from you is subconsciously giving you a hint that she doesn't want to have more of a relationship and you have to take that hint. Isaac, right now, I don't want to be around you and you have to take the hint. The moment you take the hint that she's giving you subconsciously, your attraction towards her will go so much high. But I won't tell you verbally that this is the hint and take the hint. The only way to win the game 
is playing the game the way she wants. You can't help it. Just sleep with her. How can I make you not to sleep with a lady that you really want? I can't. A woman sleeping with you, it's nothing. She can go home, look herself in the mirror and go, I don't care. It was just sex. Nothing. It was just fun. And will never want to know you on an individual level. She will never ask you about your personal life. If you are dating, if you have a life, if you have a wife, she doesn't care. And have you really, really watched up to this point? Do you really agree with me? Was this fun? If you have, then kindly comment down below by saying I am with you. And until next time, be safe, take care, and let's have peace.